later superimposed HDV infection comes that is called as super infection. The mode of transmission will be same as hepatitis B. HDV, it's a small RNA virus which belongs to Delta virus family. D for Delta, D for defective. So this is a defective virus. Why defective? Because it cannot cause infection by alone, by itself. It needs concurrent HPV infection because its outer coat is composed of HBS AG antigen. So only when HBS AG is there, that is hepatitis B virus infection is there, it is replicating then only HDV will be able to produce infection by itself. It is a cytopathic, it is a dangerous virus, but by itself it is unable to do any damage. See, if I have to give you analogy, it may not be very accurate, but think of hepatitis B virus as China. It's big, it's huge and it's, you know, its capability of causing damage is more. Think of hepatitis D virus as Pakistan. It's dependent upon China by itself. It is not there, but if there is co-infection by the two, if they both get together, then they can cause serious damage to the host. So, not an exact analogy, but these stupid analogies sometimes remind you in entrance exam when you lead them. Then it is less common. Hepatitis D virus is very less common in children. It is not very frequently seen in children. What are the modes of transmission? There are two modes of infection which can happen. That is co-infection and super-infection. So, what is co-infection? Co-infection means both HBV and HDV infection occur at the same time. And what is super-infection? There is initial HBV infection. Later, superimposed HDV infection comes. That is called as super infection. The mode of transmission will be same as hepatitis B. It can occur through parenteral route or blood products or infected needles. Sexual contact is another route as well. Incubation period is 2 to 8 weeks in cases of super infection where you can easily directly measure it. But in case of co-infection, its incubation period will depend upon that of hepatitis B virus because when it is a super infection, ready-made HBS is present, antigen is present. But in co-infection, it will have to wait. When HBV ka incubation period will be over, it will start producing significant amount of antigen products. Then only HDV will also start assembling its molecules, its viral products. And that is when it will its incubation period will be over. It will produce clinical features. HDV causes cytopathic changes which are more severe in the hepatocytes. Now, clinical features, diagnosis and management. The clinical features, the presentation is similar to other hepatotropic viruses, but it is found to be more severe. In co-infection with HPV, it produces a severe but self-limited infection. There is less risk of chronicity. Whereas in super infection with HPV, the chronicity risk is high. Also remember that in super infection, there is a very high risk of acute hepatic failure. This is a line directly taken from Nelson. What is the diagnostic feature? You will do IgM anti-HDV. It will develop approximately 2 to 4 weeks after in co-infection and it will be delayed in case of super infection where it will take approximately 10 weeks to develop. What is the treatment and prevention? No specific therapy is available. But management wise, prevention wise, if you manage hepatitis B, if you manage and prevent Hepatitis B, it indirectly also prevents Hepatitis D virus. So, if you give HBV vaccination, this will also protect against, it will indirectly protect against HDV virus. So, what it means is that HDV is all dependent upon HPV to produce its infection.